coming up on Haynes Garage. Tires 101, everything you need to know to make a well-informed tire purchase. In our four-part series, we will go inside the numbers, make sense of speed ratings, identify performance and value options, and discuss proper care and maintenance for long tire life. With Haynes Repair Manuals, you can do it. Haynes shows you how. We're going to talk about these mumbo jumbo numbers on the side of the sidewall that are the sizes of the tire. And many of you are somewhat familiar or maybe very familiar with those, but they've been changing over the years as tire compounds and shapes have changed. The numbers have changed too. It used to be bias ply tires our parents and grandparents drove on. We're driving on radials, so the one thing that's obvious is you see an R in the number, and that's a radial. That one's an easy one to remember, but Carrie lives with these numbers every day. I want to give it to you to ask you to walk us through what are the basics of making sense out of fractions and numbers on the side of a tire. Perfect. By teaching you this, you're going to know more about tires than most people know. I want to know. Yeah, very few people understand how a tire size works. Sure. So I'll go over it with you real quick. The first number in this case is a 195. That's going to be your width of the tread in millimeters. It's 195 millimeters wide, Correct. side to side. Exactly. Okay. Second number is a percentage number. This tire happens to be a 65. So the tire is 65% as tall as the tire is wide. You're doing a math problem. Right? No, as much as I hate it. You're yeah. losing me. No, I'm kidding. You're saying, okay, if it's 195.50, that's an easy one. It's 195 millimeters wide, uh -huh. and the sidewall is 50% of that 195 millimeters. Correct. So it'd be so like, so you're going to test me. Let's see how smart you are, right. Steve. So if this goes to a 50, what does it do to the sidewall? If it goes to a 50, it makes the sidewall thinner, shorter, than a, yeah. the shorter than a 65. Exactly. This one's 65% of the tread width. You're trying to make me look smart. <laughs> You're doing well, keep okay. it up. Next numbers are, like okay. what we said, which means it's a radial tire. Everything you buy in today's world is a radial. Even tractors and SUVs and all, everything. I was just gonna say, there are some that you, you have to actually try to buy a non-radial. Tractor okay. is a good example. Okay, thank you. About the only example that I can think of. Even right. your trailer tires nowadays are radial trailer tires. Radial's the letter, R. Exactly. Got it. Third number is the size. So this happens to be a 15 inch wheel. That is the one number that you can't try it, change. Okay. If your car comes with a 15 inch wheel, you gotta stay with a 15 inch Any tire. Any tire you get, you can mess with the earlier numbers, but not the 15. That is correct. Okay. You can modify these a little bit one what, way or the other. What are we up to today? I see 22, 21, 19, 20. What's, what's the common pre passenger car size, wheel size? 15 is becoming kind of obsolete. Okay. Everything is 17 to 20 yeah. as a rule of thumb. In some cases, 22s. The new Suburbans are coming with 22s. The new Navigators, 22s. Your Porsche Cayenne. You know what I'm thinking? Yeah. Pardon me. I think we're going back to the wagon wheel. Remember the wagon wheels are yeah. giant. Nice yeah. smooth ride, but yeah. no, no, no rubber to wear out. They were on iron belts, right? And a shorter sidewall for better handling I'm like we talked you. about in the last segment. Hang on. Tires, are, tires and wheels are going to get bigger. And before you know it, we're going to go back to wagon wheels. I'm kidding. Exactly. But this number then, to recap, uh, 15 is the width of the rim. The bigger the wheel, the taller the wheel, the larger that number. That is correct. That will not change with whatever tires you buy for that car. But the numbers that do change, it's hit those. I want a wider tire, more performance. I come in, I say I want to go with a wider, uh, better handling tire. What are you going to give me? I'd probably put on a 215 or a 205, 60, 15. 205 we, millimeters wide, 60% uh -huh. of, the, of yeah. the width. So okay. think about what we just did. I gave you width. We went from 65 series sidewall yeah. to a 60. So I gave you width, but by modifying the second number, I maintain diameter. By maintaining diameter, we don't affect the gear ratio, the speedometer. The ride quality? It'll affect it slightly. Okay. The more drastic you go, the more it's going to re, re, you know, affect the ride quality. But Wider you, tire telegraphs more vibration of the road or less? You'll get a little bit more road feedback because okay. you've got more contact with the ground. So if you're a gearhead or a car enthusiast, you might want that feedback. 100%. All right. But because it's going to enhance performance and braking. Okay. That would be the reason why you do it. Perfect. Okay. So you can read a sidewall right now. That number starts to make more sense for you. Well, you had something else to say, and I also see the M&S. Perfect. Okay. That's another thing I was going to point out. M&S obviously is mud and snow yeah. all season, yep. two different ways of saying it. Past the number you see uh, another number, in this particular case it's 91T. The 91 or the 89 or the 104 yep. or the 107, whatever that number is, that's a mathematical formula that says how much load, how heavy 
you can put on this tire. Why do they make it indexed? Why not just say what the weight or whatever the number is that it represents? That's a great question. I don't know the answer. So to you'd that. have to go up on the internet or something to look at a 91T. If and it buying. would tell you your load carrying capacity, so you're not exceeding the load carrying. Let me check this. If I'm buying tires, is a higher number better? Not necessarily. It just carry, it just means it carries more weight. Okay. But then it can be heavier, ride a little stiffer. So if you have a trailer, you'd want a higher number here. Well, if you got a trailer, you're going to buy a specific tire for a trailer. You see, tire purchasing is not as easy as some people think. But the M&S, let me just go back to the M&S for the viewers and me. Sure. I see M&S, mud and snow, on many tires that I buy. I'm in Southern California. Do I need that? No, you don't. I sell a lot of summer tires in Southern California. In other parts of the world, like Europe, they'll have an M&S tire for part of the year, a summer tire for the other part of the year, because okay. they're both beneficial. So the Europeans, or the people who live in snow country who are Northern Europeans, or the, any part of the world, that's going to be people who want either the most severe, durable snow tire, uh -huh. or certainly an M&S if they're in the city or something. In Southern California, do you even sell tires that don't have M&S? I do. I, the higher the performance, the less likely you are to have an M&S rated tire because an M&S rated tire doesn't handle and perform as well as a summer tire. Back to trade-offs. There we go, trade-offs. Okay. On the other hand, in the United States, sometimes we're a little bit lazy. Okay. Let's buy a tire that's going to do everything we need it to do. And that's why you have an M&S rated tire. Okay, so to recap, test me. Yeah. Point to a number. That is the millimeters wide, okay, 195. That, that's the first number, 195. Yep, you're right. Okay. The third number. Wheel size, you can't change it. It's whatever your car came with, the diameter of the wheel. Correct. Middle number's telling us what? 65 or whatever the number is, is the percentage of the sidewall relative to the width of the top. Okay. This is 65% of 195 millimeters. You're right. Okay. And then uh, the uh, 91T is mumbo jumbo, you got to look up or ask your tire man because <laughs> 91T is an index and it's rated and it has to be specific to your type of load. Pickup truck versus subcompact. Within a couple of numbers. Okay. But that number is telling you how much weight the tire will carry. <laughs> it's great to be with you, Kerry. Car guy to tire guy. For Haynes Garage, I'm Steve Ford, and I appreciate uh, for all of us here at Haynes Garage and the Haynes organization, your education as a DIYer or a consumer. We want you to know more and learn from us. We want to be your source. So follow us here on YouTube, subscribe, follow us on Facebook and Instagram, and give us your feedback and your stories of what's going on in your world. And we want you to have safe travel on behalf of all of us here. Along with Carrie Lutz at the Tire Man, I'm Steve Ford.